Is the new Paramore album This Is Why worth a listen? Let's find out. Hey everybody, it's Nick here with you. Welcome back to the Rock Squad channel and welcome to my rock album review for the new album from Paramore. It's called This Is Why. Before we get to it guys, if you love to rock out as much as we do here on the Rock Squad channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Make sure to like this video, we'd appreciate that. And make sure to share this video online with your friends and fellow rock fans. This Is Why is the sixth studio album from Paramore. It's the follow up to 2017's After Laughter. It's been six whole years since we had new music from Haley Williams and the boys and this this is an album that's been long anticipated by Paramore fans and is probably one of the most anticipated rock releases of 2023 so far. Now I gotta admit guys that I have very little experience listening to Paramore albums. I don't think I've ever listened to a Paramore album from front to back. Uh, so this is why it's definitely my first listening experience doing that with Paramore. But I, I like the material that I've heard in the past, specifically some of the big singles like Misery Business from earlier on in their career and the song Ain't It Fun from their 2013 uh, self-titled record. I think that is a fantastic pop song, a fantastic song uh, in general. And I think it's a perfect example of, of pop songwriting and pop production. Ain't it fun living in the real world? Ain't it good being all alone? So I was very excited to come into this new Paramore record. This is why I listened to my first Paramore album from front to back. But I have to say, guys, I'm really underwhelmed by this new record from Paramore. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a super talented band. Haley Williams is a great vocalist, great songwriter, great performer. This album is well performed. It's well produced. I know they're trying to do some different things with the sound on this record. They've experimented with more uh, mid-2000s UK indie rock, uh, like Block Party and bands like that, which I think is cool. The band is expanding beyond their pop punk and pop rock roots that they had earlier in their career. Uh, but I just felt this album had a lot of filler on it. Now don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great tracks on This Is Why, and I'll get to some of my favorite tracks and least favorite tracks in a minute, but there was a lot of filler on this album, specifically on the second half of the album, and when you're waiting six years for a band to return with the new material, and the album only has 10 tracks and 36 minutes on it, uh, I think you should expect more from the band. I was really underwhelmed by this new record, and I was hoping that I was, uh, was going to like it maybe as much as I like some of Paramore's past material, but guys, I just didn't get there. Now I will say one of the strengths of the album even though I don't think the overall songwriting is great on This Is Why. I think lyrically and thematically the album is strong. Haley Williams is a great lyricist as well, and I think she's tackling some really great thematic elements. I was reading in some uh, Paramore interviews and reviews that she's talking some more about, I guess, millennial or post-millennial uh, issues. And when you think about some of the lyrical content on this record, This Is Why, and the news specifically talking about some of the anxieties of watching the news and going outside, some of the post-pandemic anxieties that we've had over the last couple of years, I do think those are really great ideas to to sing about and to talk about uh, lyrically on this record so I think even though I think the songwriting overall on this is why isn't super strong lyrically and thematically I think this is why is a strong effort all right, so let's get to some of the songs on This Is Why that I really enjoyed. And there are there are a few, even though I think the overall album is weak. There are some good songs on here. This Is Why, the title track and the first single uh, released from the record. It's obvious that they're, they're they're trying to do some some Brit rock vibes, specifically 2005, 2006 uh, Brit rock vibes with this song like Arctic Monkeys and Block Party, that really angular, spiky guitar that you get on those uh, mid-2000s Brit rock songs. It's got an angular chorus. And then, as like I was saying with uh, with Haley Williams and the, and the lyrical content, this is why I don't leave the house. I think a lot of us can relate to that with our post pandemic anxieties. Who wants to leave the house anymore, especially when you can stay at home and listen to records and watch movies and do all that fun stuff? Uh, the news. I dig the sentiment on this song. I don't really watch a lot of news these days, uh, and it sounds like Haley Williams doesn't either, so I really enjoyed that, and I dug the sentiment on that song. Again, uh, I think this is more of that new school Paramore sound that they're going for that is more inspired by uh, mid-2000s uh, Brit rock as opposed to 90s pop punk and pop rock and that kind of thing. Uh, Running Out of Time, I felt was my favorite song on this record. A little bit more of that old school Paramore sound. I love the beat. I thought it was a great chorus, and it was definitely one of my favorite tracks on the the record and then I liked You First. I thought this was the punchiest song of the bunch. Again, I think I was leaning more towards songs that had more of that old school Paramore sound as opposed to the new school Paramore sound, but that's just me because my kind of uh, musical taste these days, especially comes to when it comes to rock, I like heavier 
punkier, poppier, punchier stuff than uh, than what you get on this record. But I did enjoy You First. I thought that was one of the better tracks. And those are the songs that I really enjoyed on This Is Why. So unfortunately for me, the rest of the album wasn't as strong, specifically the second half. Uh, but the majority of the album for me was a little bit underwhelming when it came to the songwriting. I was expecting catchier songs, hookier songs on this album, and it really slows down. Not to say you can't have great hooky songs that are slow, but this album really slows down to a, to a halt in the uh, in the second half of the record. And for me, the melodies just weren't jumping out to me as much as I wanted them to. When you think about their past material, it's so hooky, it's so catchy, and this album is very understated in its songwriting not to say I don't want to say it's bad songwriting because it's not songwriting is all subjective and people approach it from different angles and obviously Paramore doesn't want to do the same thing over and over again but from a songwriting angle the songs just didn't grab me as much as there is their past material there's definitely not a song like ain't it fun on this record that really just grabs you and says this is a great a great song so we're gonna have to get into some of my my uh, lesser loved cuts from uh, from this is why uh say something like that i'm canadian but i don't know any french uh it's catchy but uh, that song was was really annoying i just i found myself it was really grating on me i just found myself wanting to skip that track right from the get-go and then the second half of the record like i said really slows down and grinds to a halt and really didn't jump out to me i can't think of any melodies from the second half of the record that uh that really grabbed me figure eight was a forgettable song uh, liar crave and thick skull the last couple of songs on this record crave was okay it had a catchier chorus but between figure eight liar in Thick Skull, the songs just started to blend in for me. They all sounded really, really samey. And although the first half of the record has a lot of punch to it and some uh, some catchier songs, the second half of the record, unfortunately for me, was really underwhelming and disappointing. Oh, and another song that I forgot to mention is called Big Man, Little Dignity. I think that song was one of the stronger ones on uh, on This Is Why. It had some really cool guitar. I had a cool groove on it and obviously some great lyrics from, from Haley Williams. So uh, I would put that actually in the like category. I like the song big man, little dignity. So those are the songs that I liked and the songs that I didn't like so much from the new album from Paramore called This Is Why. I was expecting more from Paramore in terms of songwriting and in terms of the catchiness and, and punchiness and hookiness of this record. They've done a lot of that kind of thing in the past and not to say that they have to repeat what they've done in the past on this new record. They want to do some new things. Totally get that. I just feel like the songwriting could have been uh, a bit stronger. Lyrically, I think it's a strong album from Haley Williams, vocally, performance-wise from the rest of the band. Everybody's doing a great job in that regard. It's well-produced. But songwriting wise, I just wish there was more there to grab me in terms of the melodies. There weren't a lot of melodies that I was taken away from uh, from this album that I'm singing in my head, unfortunately, other than This Is Why and the news and and then running out of time. So there's a couple of tracks I like from this record, but overall it was uh, it was uh, underwhelming. Ten songs, 36 minutes. Expect a little bit more, maybe less filler from uh, from this record. And like I said, it just grinds to a halt. It really slows down and loses me and bores me in the second half of the record. So unfortunately for Paramore, uh, I didn't love my first uh, listen to of a, an entire Paramore record as much as I wanted to, but uh, there are some strong songs on this album, but overall found it underwhelming. So we're gonna come in with my review for Paramore's This Is Why. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Yes, as hooky as their older stuff is, I was really expecting more from Paramore on this record. And I really can't see a lot of fans singing these songs in stadiums. I think maybe this is why in the news would be the ones that fans would be singing. But I can't imagine Paramore being able to fill a set with a lot of material from this new album. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a huge Paramore fan by any stretch of the imagination. But you can let me know what you thought of the new record from Paramore in the comments below. If you're a big fan, if you're a casual fan, let me know what you thought of the new record in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to us here on the Rock Squad channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the notification bell. Make sure to like this video. We appreciate that. And make sure to share this video online with your friends and, uh, and fellow rock fans. You can follow us on social media at Rock Squad Pod on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you can check out my band if you love music like Oasis, Foo Fighters, Weezer, Jimmy Eat World. You should check out my band. We're called Fools Union. You can check us out at FoolsUnion.com. But I'll see you guys again for another rock album review here on the Rock Squad channel. Until then, rock on, everybody.